And so, what's Cosmic? Cosmic is like a refined hashtag user experience coming on Pop! OS this June, and it is based on Ubuntu 21.04. Basically it's a set of shell extensions and patches on top of GNOME 338, but with GNOME 40 already out, Cosmic is technically outdated software. But hey! You asked me to cover it, so let's do this anyway! The first thing to notice on our Cosmic experience is that we have a dock on bottom. And let's open two terminals, the second by pressing the control key. The Cosmic experience also includes a pop shell, that I may not personally use, but I know it's a tiling system with a very positive user feedback. Anywho! On the left we have the Applications button that opens the Application Grid, and even more left we have a Workspaces button, that's basically the Activities. But the most cosmic button is definitely the first on Dock, that opens a Super Search. For start it displays all the open windows so we can easily switch between, and even more it also assigns shortcuts on the fly. And obviously we can type and search and launch new applications too. But what it really makes it cosmic, is that it launches with Super Key although we can change that from options. The next button is less cosmic and it opens the workspaces again. And the next after next opens the applications grid. One last thing from the cosmic extensions department, is the desktop icons. I know, not many care about that, but one main reason was because of the bad integration with the rest desktop. So the good news is that the drag and drop now works. But so far we only have scratched the surface of the Cosmic experience, so let's go deeper! Oh, and those left workspaces? We can set them anywhere, maybe! So, we open the background options, and here we have everything we care than the background. On desktop we can set the super key action, so we can set it back to open the workspaces like the default GNOME experience. Second option is the hot corner, that by default is disabled. Then we can show or hide some items from the top bar like the Applications button. Or we can also move the clock to the right. And by the way we can also set if we want the panel to be visible on all monitors or not. And finally we can adjust the window controls. On Appearance we can choose between the light and dark themes, and default was the dark. That switch affects both shell and application styles, so isn't that good. On dock we'll find all the usual options we expect like auto hide or setting the size, or even select on what displays will be visible. But also we can change its position on the screen, and that just reminded me Pop OS biggest failure. And last we have our virtual desktop options. Here we can choose if we want dynamic workspaces or not. Or we can set the multi-monitor behavior, that we can also do on GNOME 40 but the option is hidden. And next we can set the workspace's picker placement on the screen. For example we can set it to the right. Which is under development and it doesn't work, but what even if it was? How all those are supposed to work on GNOME 40 I'm wondering? And if you're asking me, System76 should stop the cosmic BS and they should help the upstream. Because if the upstream project is not good enough, the downstream will always be worse no matter what. And GNOME from their side, should finally introduce telemetry, so they can actually know how people are using their desktop, and improve the user experience upon that. Anyway, lazy walkthrough off cause I don't like to demo old software. GNOME 41 is already here, and the software sidebar is now on master. Oh, and by the way? Horizontal workspaces is a true cosmic experience. 